what happens when a bunch of criminals are killed in a police shootout, and it's up to their wives to pick up the pieces and pull off a height of their own? Oscar buzz is what happens. Hey guys, I'm Justin. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, ring the bell to make sure you don't miss any of our videos. Widows is the brand new film by 12 Years a Slave director Steve McQueen. It's co-written by McQueen and novelist turned screenwriter Gillian Flynn. She was the novelist behind the film Gone Girl and she also adapted it herself into the screenplay for the film. But this time, Widows isn't based on a book, but a British TV series from the early 80s, which went on for two seasons. It also had an American-made version about 15 years ago, but it was different in many respects. This 2018 film leans much heavier on the British version and stars Viola Davis as Veronica Rawlins, the wife of Liam Neeson's character Harry Rawlins, who gathers the team of newly widowed women after their husbands were all killed in a robbery gone wrong. Firstly, regarding spoilers, this film is full of twists and turns and engaging performances. There is so much to enjoy while watching it, but the main spoiler is that the film is called Widows, and therefore must involve the death of certain characters. But trust me, that's only the catalyst for the story. There is still a lot to be had with this film. Speaking of story, one of the interesting aspects to me about this film is that it played a lot like a novel, with lots of slow yet pacey scenes. I think having Gillian Flynn on board as a writer really helps with the intricate weaving of the plot and the navigation of all the twists and turns. Steve McQueen's direction was also at peak, with such a gorgeous visual style and his balancing the intricate plot with acting performances masterly, it makes me really want to watch 12 Years a Slave again. This film also retames McQueen with his powerhouse crew of DOP Sean Bobbitt and editor Joe Walker returning behind the camera with him for the fourth time. I loved the handheld yet balanced nature of the camera, it felt like I was amongst the action and the choice of using long takes emphasised the tension in key scenes. McQueen has made four films now and every time he brings these guys back, proving that if something ain't broke, don't fix it. There wasn't much I didn't like about this film and even with its two hour runtime, I always felt entertained. But one thing I felt lacking was the point of having Hans Zimmer score the film. Hans Zimmer is one of the greatest film composers to have lived, so why was he so massively underused? I don't remember the soundtrack anywhere near as much as the visual, but maybe that's the point, and maybe it's the mark of a successful film scorer. Or maybe he was just phoning it in. The acting performances were also pretty great, and while there is no doubt that Viola Davis will get an Oscar nod, there is something about her as an actress that I can't quite put my finger on. Maybe it's her range, which is amazing, it's incredible, but I've seen it all before. Once you've seen her cry or make passionate speeches or stare down at someone, you've seen it all before and it all just blurs into one another, and you just start expecting certain things. I wasn't surprised by her performance at all, and she was hired for a reason, but Maybe she should do something else for a change, like comedy. Well, she was in Suicide Squad. In summation, Widows is definitely one of those end-of-year Oscar buzz movies, and rightfully so. With memorable performances, tight direction, and writing, I foresee lots of gold statues in its future. But more importantly, I hope this film has enough legs to enter the public consciousness as one of those great female-led ensemble films. That'll be enough from me. Are you looking forward to this film? If you are, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on all of the socials, the links are in the description. Once again guys, I'm Justin, until next time, I will see you at the movies.